Ortis Brothers Incorporated is proud to present this brief show covering our involvement in the field of glass tempering, a field we have been well recognized in throughout the years for our pioneering efforts in the development of tempered safety glass products. Annealed or raw glass shatters. Breaking into razor sharp pieces and thin spears which pose a definite danger to anyone coming in contact with them. Tempered glass on the other hand is approximately four to five times stronger and when broken crumbles into small rounded diamond like fragments which are not sharp. We have long been familiar with the tempered glass found in our automobiles often called safety glass. Hortus industrial tempering ovens can produce two types of heat treated glass products the aforementioned tempered glass and also a heat strengthened glass. Heat strengthened glass is approximately twice as strong as annealed glass and is used in situations where glass fallout is a major concern such as spandrel glass applications in high-rise office buildings. Annealed glass becomes tempered or heat strengthened through a heating and cooling process which Hortus has researched and refined over the years to the point of setting present-day standards. We've come a long way since the early Hortus ovens, which were vertical in format, electrically heated, and transported the glass sheets by racks. Later, the ovens utilized gas in the firing process, while tongs held the glass sheets and automatic overhead conveyor systems handled the transport. In the early 1960s, the ovens were radically modified. A horizontal transport system was designed, which employed a stainless steel roller assembly. This innovation eliminated the tong marks left on the edges of the glass by the vertical units and put Hortus Brothers Incorporated in the forefront of the movement toward present day state of the art. Today, with the construction of over 50 glass tempering furnaces behind us and installations throughout the United States, England, France, and Spain, Hortus is manufacturing two types of horizontal tempering systems, the batch system and the continuous system both of which are available in various sizes and productive capacities. These ovens are electrically heated, but Hortus still builds gas-fired ovens upon request. The continuous type of oven does just what its name implies, plays host to a continuous procession of glass as it travels in one end of the oven, is heated and cooled, and emerges tempered or heat strengthened from the other end. The batch type is similar in many respects, except that the glass oscillates back and forth within the oven until it is time to make its exit. Let's take a closer look now at these ovens to see what Hortus has done to make our tempering systems the best in the industry. The glass begins its journey at the feed-in conveyor. The batch oven has a built-in caster table which is raised and lowered automatically. The feed-in conveyor has been designed in both systems to allow the operator to reach the glass freely and easily. Both the feed-in conveyor at the beginning of the journey and the unload conveyor at the end transport the glass on steel rollers covered by tough, cut and wear resistant urethane rings. The furnace, however, uses a different roller a roller made of fused silica with heat treated end caps which eliminate wear and maintain alignment for a long period of time. All rollers in Hortus tempering systems are designed for quick and easy removal for maintenance purposes. They run in rugged cradle bearings and are driven by a system of urethane belts which have proven to be very durable and maintenance free. The furnace itself is a rugged and rigid all steel shell, the top half of which can be raised by hydraulic cylinders for interior service. It is painted a dark semi-gloss or flat paint color, usually blue, to boost its heat efficiency even more. The interior insulation is constructed of lightweight ceramic fiberboard and mineral wool board to minimize heat loss and facilitate rapid heat up. The interior surface is treated to be non-dusting. The heating elements are heavy gauge for long life. They are mounted flat and parallel to the glass surface both above and below for the most uniform heat transfer input possible. The most critical aspect of the tempering process is temperature control. Hortus furnaces are zoned for accurate temperature control and even heat distribution. Thermocouples are used as the heat sensing device. The continuous system employs solid state controllers which are microprocessor based. In case of a temperature control failure, the affected zone can be switched to an adjacent zone while the trouble is corrected. This allows production to continue while the failing unit is quickly unplugged and a new one plugged in. Another control feature is that if a zone overheats and goes into alarm, a light is lit and a horn sounds, 
but the panel circuit breaker does not immediately trip. A one minute delay is built in, usually allowing the operator ample time to remedy the problem. If he needs additional time, he can press a reset button, ensuring him another minute. This helps prevent needless shutdowns caused by a power circuit tripping. Temperature settings remain the same for all glass thicknesses. Only the conveyor speed and the quench air pressure are changed. Glass travel speed is indicated on a precise digital instrument which is calibrated to read in inches per minute. The Hortus Continuous Oven uses an infrared pyrometer mounted between the furnace and the quench to monitor glass temperature as it leaves the furnace. This pyrometer can be traversed across the width of the load so that readings can be taken virtually anywhere on the glass. The badge system employs two infrared pyrometers. The second is installed on the furnace to monitor glass temperature while heating. Hortus has designed a failsafe into their systems in the form of a small battery which will power the roller drive mechanism in the event glass must be removed from the furnace area during a power failure. Once the glass has attained the proper heating requirements, it enters the quench area for rapid cooling. The quench cooling system is extremely efficient quench pressure being precisely controlled by a very sensitive pressure transducer and a control instrument with set point and readout. Air temperature is also automatically controlled. The quench orifices consist of efficiently designed stainless steel tubes rigidly attached yet easily repaired if damaged. The Hortus quench design incorporates a thickness adjustment which operates quickly and easily from the top section of the quench. This adjustment employs an indicator which displays proper positioning of the glass. Hortus has designed its quenches to have the air fed in from the back through tapered ducts for uniform air distribution and excellent glass breakage visibility. This method of air distribution is very accurate throughout the entire quench area and allows the quench to be opened quickly and easily for cleaning. Efficiency and energy conservation have always played a major role in Hortus oven design. The quench is a good example of this using a two-speed motor system or a series blower system to ensure that only the horsepower necessary is used when cooling glass of varying thicknesses. Hortus recommends that where location of the quench blower permits using outside air, louvers be installed to blend the outside air with the room air by using a temperature controller and louver motors to maintain a constant quench air temperature. No special blower room is needed, but it is advisable to have the quench blower installed in a shed outside the main building. This keeps duct work out of the way and minimizes noise. Hortus keeps a close watch on today's constantly changing computer technology. Control circuitry and programming functions are upgraded accordingly to maintain state of the art in this area. The continuous system employs a microprocessor control which keeps track of every glass load as it enters the furnace. An alarm is sounded if the load does not leave the furnace when it should, alerting the operator in time to prevent a jam up. The unload conveyor ends the ride for the newly tempered or heat strengthened glass. Its drive assembly, designed for operator convenience and mobility, plus material construction is much the same as the previously discussed load conveyor. Once a Hortus tempering system is built for you, we strive to make on-site installation go as quickly as possible. No pit is necessary for either system and no special foundation is required if the floor is stable and level. All controls and motion functions are completely tested in the Hortus plant prior to shipping in order to minimize startup problems. The batch system is shipped in four major sections and the continuous system in three. Complete installation of either system is usually accomplished within two weeks. An operating manual along with a recommended maintenance schedule accompanies all units as does complete electrical drawings, control schematics, a ladder diagram of microprocessor control circuitry, a list of recommended spare parts, plus installation and setup prints. Our reputation at Hortus speaks for itself. We have set industrial standards for energy efficiency and cost effectiveness. We have integrated the latest in computer technology and our design objective has always been to keep maintenance and troubleshooting minimal and quick. Every automatic function has a manual override procedure which allows an operator total control. Probably the most important point to note is that the equipment manufactured at Hortus Brothers Incorporated is built and designed by users for users. This not only solves the problems under our roof first, but also stimulates constant innovation for improvement. So, if you are a dealer in tempered glass products thinking about investing in your own glass tempering operation, 
or you are a manufacturer presently using vertical equipment and finding it necessary to expand into horizontal oven design, Hortus Brothers Incorporated will meet your needs. Talk to the company tempered by experience.